I'm Emily Machado, and I'm an assistant professor of language, literacy, and culture at the University of Washington in Seattle. I'm speaking today on behalf of my co-author, Dr. Paul Hartman, and I'm delighted to tell you about our new article titled Translingual Writing in a Linguistically Diverse Primary Classroom, which is soon to be published in the Journal of Literacy Research. This article is part of a broader study of writing and languaging in Paul's second grade English language arts classroom. Paul's classroom was an English medium instructional space, but was highly linguistically diverse, with at least 16 different languages represented among his students. In the instructional unit that was the focus of this study, Paul made strategic modifications to a writing workshop unit on poetry to invite his students to use all of their communicative resources in composition. In this article, we explore his students' engagements with translingual writing. Although growing numbers of scholars support translingual orientations in post-secondary writing classrooms, translingual orientations are rarely extended to elementary school writers, who are often asked to compose exclusively in dominant American English. Although we positioned all students as agentive users of literacy and language, this writing felt challenging for some of Dr. Hartman's students, who reflected that they didn't know how to read or write in languages that they tended to use orally. In this article, we pay particular attention to five of these students, documenting the creative and strategic ways in which they wrote. These students drew on their phonological knowledge to repurpose English letter sound correspondences and invented spelling. They crafted aesthetic experiences for their peers by using non-Roman symbols in letter strings and memorized words. And they remixed literate resources by copying multilingual environmental print. We also looked closely at why students engaged in translingual writing, documenting how they made strategic writing choices to express pride, connect with particular audiences, and index their multilingual identities. Ultimately, our findings reaffirm that young children are skilled communicators who make creative and strategic choices in their writing across languages. They also suggest that young children need not wait to master the conventions of dominant American English before they use the breadth and depth of their communicative repertoires in writing.